Now at 10 tonight, the Harmony School of Excellence in Northeast D.C. is under scrutiny. It's accused of misusing public funds to bankroll a visa program to bring in teachers from Turkey. The school is just one of dozens in a charter school network based out of Houston. Tisha Lewis is covering the story tonight. So Tisha, any explanation as to why the school seems to bring in only Turkish teachers? Well, Sean, here's the breakdown. A D.C. attorney hired by the Turkish government filed this complaint against the Charter Network. Accusations include money mismanagement and also discrimination and much more. In fact, if you take a look over my left shoulder, this school right here, Harmony School of Excellence, is the only school operated by the Texas-based company located here in the district. But we're told they have plans to open another in the near future. Now, just days ago, the Turkish government filed the complaint with the Texas Education Agency. It, include, it, it accuses the charter school network of using taxpayer dollars to fund Turkish visas and more. At first glance, Harmony School of Excellence looks like any other campus. In fact, let's go inside. It feels like your typical school, but it's what's happening beyond the classroom that's prompted D.C.-based attorney Robert Amsterdam to file this complaint with the Texas Education Agency, asking them to investigate the misuse of taxpayer dollars to fund visas and more. It's frankly evidence of unqualified teachers, many of whom are brought here uh, because they are members of this Gulen movement. Fethullah Gulen is reportedly an exiled Muslim cleric who apparently wants to overthrow Turkey's government. Amsterdam filed this complaint on behalf of Turkey. What we document in the Texas complaint is a tremendous amount of mismanagement, a tremendous amount of uh, contracting from the school to other Turkish vendors related to the Gulen movement. They all bring in Turkish teachers, many of them unqualified. The type of parent that I am, my son wouldn't be here if that was the case. Yeah, okay. I would definitely pull him out and be, because I'm his advocate, I would have something to say. Andra Ferguson's seven-year-old son attends Harmony. She disagrees with the lawyer's assertion, but a teacher who didn't want to be identified says the top tier is all from Turkey. We have the principal, the assistant principal, and the IT guy. That's all from Turkey. Even so, she's surprised by the damning assertions. When I hear the allegation, I'm surprised and I'm confused and baffled um, because I know that the uh, principal and administrator we have here, they look out for us. D.C. Public Charter School Board says they are looking into these allegations. That teacher that we interviewed says that faculty and staff is required to make a trip to Houston annually. We did reach out to Harmony Public Schools, and we just heard back before showtime. They sent us this one-page response. Here's the bottom line. They said that these assertions and accusations are politically motivated. They also say it's without merit, and they said that that's based on an investigation that did not find them at fault. Tisha Lewis. Fox 5 Local News.